Developing overnight, the Israeli defense minister giving the order for what he calls Gaza's, quote, complete siege. This after Hamas launched a surprise attack over the weekend, leaving hundreds dead. We want to go live now to CBS's Haley Ott, who is joining us this morning from Tel Aviv with the latest. Haley, thank you for joining us. Tell us, how is Israel stepping up the fight against Hamas there? Good morning. Around 100,000 soldiers have been called up to fight. Many reservists are reporting for duty across the country today. We visited one army base where some of those soldiers, reservists, were reporting for duty, and we saw hundreds of cars parked and left on the roads outside of that center, all people who had come to do whatever they could in this fight. We spoke to some of those soldiers. They said they were shocked and saddened by what had happened over the weekend, but they were willing to do whatever it took, although they hoped that this would be Israel's last war. Uh, Haley, Israel saying more than 100 people have been kidnapped. How, how are families in that country coping? Yes, videos, horrific videos of the people who have been kidnapped are being shared on social media. They're too graphic for us to show even on television, but so many Israelis are seeing them on channels that they are part of online. So people are really sad and heartbroken over what's happening beyond just the families of the hostages or the missing. Centers have been set up for those families, though, to come try to get any information that they can about their loved ones. We visited one yesterday. Dozens of people were there. Some were bringing DNA samples in the hopes that that could help with the search. Um, we spoke to two sisters whose father actually had been taken hostage, and he had been in his home with their mother when militants had come in and taken him away, and that was the last that anyone had heard from him. They found out that he'd been taken from their mother, who they left, the, who the militants left in the house. Um, what we did see also at both the army base and the center for the families of the missing were civilian volunteers, young people, old people, people from across society who had organized food, water, sandwiches um, to do also whatever they could to help in this moment. We can't even imagine what those families must be going through in this situation. Haley, live from Tel Aviv for us this morning, we appreciate you.